RP, we were just talking off camera. You've been here a long time since 1969, and you've won a lot of races. You're 16th, but I'm not sure you can ever top the last 10 laps of that race. Well, I'll tell you, you just didn't know. I was waiting for that nine car to go. And then when our guys got ahead of them, I felt that was a real plus, as long as they didn't slow each other down. But, you know, this was a race for the fans, and we had a lot of trouble this month. But I'll tell you, coming back and seeing that race, 10 laps, anybody's race, clean racing, nobody blocking and just going for it. And I'll tell you, the speed's at the end. I think the pit stops were good. And I'll tell you something, it was a race all day long. What everybody likes about you and about IndyCar racing is there's no team orders you know, other than crashing each other, but I think that's really, that showed as much today as I've ever seen it. Two guys, that, they were teammates, but not really. Well, we never said a thing on the radio. They were going for it. I mean, they, they take care of each other. On the other hand, they were they were on it. Watching that pass that Will made on the, and I think it was five or six to go on Dixon down in one. That was the pass of the day. What about when you gave, when you brought Montoya back, you know, he's got more money he's ever going to spend, but he still drives like he's hungry. Well, I'll tell you, he is some race driver, and, you know, he's a great guy to have on the team. He's always having fun with the guys, and, uh, you know, Pazino calls him Ron. I can't even say Juan, but uh, I guess he'll know who Juan is now. But a great Formula One driver, NASCAR winner, and obviously here, two Indianapolis 500 is pretty special. we we got to give Chevrolet big props, too, because that was pretty much a butt kicking from start to finish this month. No question. Uh, we had great cars. The aerodynamic problem or we had earlier in the month went away in the race. It was, I like as we could pass lap after lap. You never knew who was coming off at of turn four. So Chevy had a great motor. We had great motors. So thank you for Mr. Chevrolet. Can you rank this in your 16 victories? Well, I'll tell you, last year I was so disappointed to see it. I tell you, they never worry about who finished second, but uh, this is pretty good. I tell you, the one, the Cornish one, this was like the one Hornish one here in, I think, 06 when he won that thing at the end, but uh, pretty special. All right, congratulations. Roger Penske back in victory lane.